The scientific reason humans feel fear is to protect you from experiencing pain. Sometimes you have to look through the fear to find an opportunity. My name is Maz and I am a professional hula hooper. As soon as I can remember, I always thought I was a clever kid. I was top of the class, especially in things like maths and science. You can only choose one path, so I picked the hardest one. Hydrogeology is the science of groundwater. It's like going out in the fields, wading in rivers, taking small samples. It was always cold and always muddy. I wanted to challenge myself, but at the time, I didn't really understand the difference between challenging and suffering. I just knew that if I stayed there, I was going to have to force myself to be something that I wasn't. One of the things you can't do as a scientist is just get up and dance. <laughs> like people would find it really inappropriate. I'd never been able to spin a hula hoop, like, as a kid. I'd seen a lot of people doing it before at festivals, and it was like the kind of hula hooping that I'd never seen in my life before. I would describe Maz as smart and creative equally. <laughs> when you get those two, it's a perfect yeah, storm. Yes. You have to make, make sure you're least well, yeah, Over the thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Claire's my best friend, and I met her through hula hooping. So I always found it quite fascinating that she was a hydrologist. But it's funny because we never really spoke Two, about one, it. Go, uh, go! <laughs> I'm like similarly an architect, so we were in that world where we were just doing our day jobs, then doing this hoop stuff on our Tuesday evenings. It was kind of like a hobby on the side, but I kept it a secret. Three, if people two, saw one. how much I loved hula hooping, <laughs> they might the realize <laughs> how much I wasn't enjoying my day job. Yeah! Ah! <laughs> it's like that thing that everyone says, like accidents happen closest to your house. I never saw the car really until after. I think I hit the windshield. And I sat down and I looked down at my leg. It was like just open in like five different places. When Maz informed us about the accident, it came as a simple message, a photograph of her on her hospital bed. She would never let on the extent of her injuries. I was really, really scared. I want to be able to walk again. At that moment in time, everything she loved to do was being snatched away from her. I really realized what I wanted to do with my life. Who looping what I wanted to do. It could have been the end of her career and it said it was the start. I had to overcome the fear of stepping into the unknown. The fear of staying in a job that I wasn't enjoying was a lot scarier than doing something that I loved. So then I quit. When I decided to have my notice in. Everyone said, have you lost your mind? But I wanted to do all the things I love doing that could also make me money. She was living a more regular life, but the kind of life you lead when you're a freelance hula hooper performer, it throws unexpected things in your face literally every hour of your day. And it's the way you deal with it which makes you successful. I make more money now as a hula hooper than I did as a scientist. I will teach workshops, cabarets. I do a lot of cabarets. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four. I 
had an idea of what my career would look like because I had this group of hula hoopers around me. The majorettes are a group of hula hoopers and roller skaters. We're a performance troupe first and foremost. So our icebreaker for today, we're going to say, what's the weirdest job we've ever had? My weirdest job was when I had to pretend to be a fan of a band, so I had to go to a gig and just, like, jump around. <laughs> I'm a country girl originally, and my weirdest job is picking up horse manure from a field to turn into compost. <laughs> <laughs> so my weirdest job was that I was a PA to a billionaire, but then I had to hula hoop. So I brought hula hoops to the office. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of questions came up. <laughs> we just are a support system for each other. And hand too. And it's where Five, we six, find seven, our peace, we find our two, power. Two. It means everything to us. Beautiful. It was amazing finding people that also love to looping. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. She's done everything under the sun. She's um multi-Guinness world record holding. She can spin a million hoops on herself at once, on every part of her body. She's really, really inspirational. I hope that she realizes that. I had to get the best grades, the smartest, most challenging job. <laughs> and now I feel like I define success really differently. I used to think that being challenged meant having to suffer. Now I realize that challenges are to better you. You can be joyful and successful.